Free Jack is a 1992 sci-fi action story about Alex Furlong. He is an auto racer who uh, dies in a terrible accident. However, a split second before he dies, he is taken from the, pa uh, the present uh, to 15 years into the future, where the, the uber-rich pay to have fresh bodies taken from the past. So he is a Free Jack, someone with no rights, and he's the property of someone else. So Alex wakes up uh, in this uh, medical sort of van thing. However, they are attacked by people, uh, hobos, I guess, with guns. And he manages to escape. He finds himself 15 years in the future, on the run, everyone trying to stick a gun in his face because there was some sort of ozone sort of attack that made everyone sickly. So now the people of the future want the bodies from the past that's why they're after him he finds himself surrounded by anyone who could betray him at any time this is a very schlocky action-packed story there's lots of hammy you know performances and chase scenes action people shooting bolt guns there's one really really great scene where alex wants to give up and a uh, homeless man gives him a uh, sort of speech and there's a pretty good kid cast in here too. There's a Rene Russo, Jonathan Banks, Anthony Hopkins, uh, Mick Jagger. He's okay too, you know. He's I, I I know he's a musician, but like he, he did a pretty good job too. It's a very straightforward, very robust action movie that doesn't have any CGI or anything. So all the explosions, the chases, the laser bits are all pretty cool. There's lots of action, uh, lots of twists. It's a pretty solid movie overall. It reminded me a lot like. Uh, a fortress or a Robocop. It's very cyberpunk a little bit, but uh, not much sci-fi philosophy going on. It's more of an action story of just people trying to get him. So Free Jack's pretty enjoyable and I give it a six out of 10.